John Acklesome for Boating New Zealand magazine. Today we've come to Mungafai. We're testing the new Senator SL1170 with the Sea Legs 100 system. The very first boat in New Zealand to have one of these systems and the biggest Senator pontoon boat the company has built so far. team at Senator Boats working with the guys from Sea Legs have managed to get the whole of the, uh, the engine and the hydraulic uh, kit that runs the, the Sea Legs system underneath the floor. So the whole area is clear. Normally there would actually be an engine box here, but they've managed to get it underneath the sole. It's given the uh, boat a whole lot of extra stability when it's underway, and it's been a very, very good solution. Very keen on his fishing, and you can tell and we've got two bait tables. We've got nice little pull-out drawers underneath. You put a bit of gear in there. There's no lip on the board here. You can fill it fish easily. He's got a pot hauler. There's an outlet either for the pot hauler, or you could use it for an electric fishing reels. Live bait tank. Everything you need to go fishing for a day or for a weekend. Uh, this helm console. Uh, now the the boat's owners had a lot of input into this. In fact he really designed the shape of this uh, helm console and I think it's a really clever arrangement. There's a lot of extra stuff that has to go into a, a Sea Legs equipped boat like this one. Uh, not least this whole sort of module here which has the controls for the for the for the Sea Legs system so when you're driving it on land that's the controls that you use. They managed to squeeze those in there without cramping anything and it's this kind of wrap around idea that seems to work so well. I really like all of these rocker switches here. Um, again, the owner tells me he wanted to be able to reach things, not have to fiddle around and reach under things when he's at sea so he can immediately get to the things that he needs. The bow camera is something that's very important and that allows him to see where he's going. Whatever's showing on the screen here is also repeated in the cockpit. There's a cockpit screen as well. Uh, look, it works really, really well. Spacious, we were out, you know, we were out today with seven or eight people in the boat, you'd hardly know it. Very workable shower and head, uh, nice and bright in there, it's actually painted, it's one of only two parts of the boat that are painted, the rest of it is wrapped. I like the way they've raised the toilet up off the floor, that makes it easier to clean, also made it easier to plumb, and I understand it also makes it more comfortable to sit on. And look at all the head height. So I'm inside the cabin now, inside the wheelhouse, and as you can see, it's vast. It's a really big space in here. If I were lucky enough to be six foot six, which I'm not, uh, I'd still have no problem fitting in to this cabin. Um, really, really spacious, and it feels great in here. So even though this is a large boat, a lot of the time it'll just be the owner and his partner using it. So they've kind of tailored it a little bit that way. Um, you know, they may well be staying overnight, but they have decided that they want to be able to prepare food on the boat. They've got a decent galley here, force 10 gas oven, a good size table here in the, in the we'll call it the saloon, it's really the wheelhouse. Only two helm seats or, or two seats because usually there's only two of them. I like the way that this one here will swivel around to address the saloon table so you can sit and eat. Folding armrests on both of them, very comfortable. And of course they have a bolster as well, both the helm seat and the passenger seat. So the theme of space continues here in the Ford cabin. Again, I've got a lot of room in here, including headroom. I've got standing headroom in here, which is which is really unusual for a Ford cabin. Um, Neville's decided not to go with a, a double bed in here. Instead, he's got two really wide V-berths, what makes it much easier to get in and out of the cabin. So there we have it, the SL1170. It's a very impressive vessel in every way. A total custom build, of course, it's something that the owner can be extremely proud of. The people at Sea Legs and the guys at Senator can also be extremely proud of. John Acklesome from Boating New Zealand. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you'd like to see more of these videos, please subscribe to our channel.